Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a new work item in TFS 2015 using Visual Studio 2015. There's another way to create a new work item using web access of TFS, but uh, this video is all about using Visual Studio client. Um, other thing is that uh, your uh, work item, number of work items and names of work items really depend on when you created your team project, what template you used. In TFS, there are three templates that you can choose from when you're uh, creating your um, uh, team project. One is uh, Scrum, other is Agile, and then CMMI. I have created all those three projects, but uh, we'll go through uh, quickly. Uh, we'll change the team projects uh, that was created on a different template and see that uh, how, uh, how the, the work items look like in each uh, uh, template. But uh, creating a new work item is not difficult really and all the selection mostly are common in all the work items that you choose but there are some special work items such as change request uh, work item uh, epic work item they have a, a different outlook when you're creating and different input uh, you need to give when you're creating a new work item so here's my visual studio i have a couple projects under tbs collection uh, team collection right here uh, project team collection uh, TBS agile this will use the agile methodology and TBS team this use CMMI so let's take a look on the um, TBS agile that what work work items are available for us to to use so I'll go back here if you're you you, you need to click on manage connection and all the um, projects that you have permission they will appear right here under your uh, TFS connections so in my case, I'm going to choose uh, TBS Agile. Double click on that and then click on work items and click on new work item. And you will see that it has bug, task, user story, Apex features, issues, and test case. These are the available uh, work items for this template. When you created this uh, project and you used Agile methodology, these are the work items that will cover um, the agile methodology but let's go back to use CMMI this is the work item that is CMMI so I'm gonna double click that and click on work items and notice that how many work items appear here as you can see there are more work items uh, under this template requirement change request epic and some of them are common so I'm gonna go back and show you real quick for the scrum as well this is the scrum one and click on work items and click on new work item and you will see that it it is even a little bit less instead of issues is impediment right here so uh, this covers the scrum methodology if your project is using scrum methodology to uh, you know uh, be completed then the work items may appear differently so let's go back to um, cmmi because that's where we get most of the um, work items and uh, some common work items in in that case as well i'm going to click on uh, manage connection again and click on tbs team double click on it and go to work items again and click on new work item so in my case i'm going to create a, a, a work item called task just for the demo purposes click on task um, so the the tags are very important uh, they help you search work items um, I am just giving this demo I don't have many work items uh, I don't have many projects but when you are working for an organization there are multiple projects there are multiple collections and there are tons of uh, uh, work items uh, and it, it'll be hard for you to uh, filter and search for the related work items but tags is the one that uh, you can use in your filter criteria to search for the item so it is important that you start using tags it is nice nice facility so if i click on add tag so for me um i'm gonna first these were already created um in another demo so i'm gonna click on task and i keep adding that to create more um you know related uh, to this work items so SQL server and I will create database another task so if I need to search that there is a there was a work items called uh, create new database in your project 
and it is obviously SQL Server. If you're using SQL Server, it's Oracle. You can put an Oracle tag right here. This will just help you to filter through quickly when you uh, uh, create a query to look at a specific um, uh, work item and see the status and all that. You can create reports based on that, uh, but uh, title and tag filter are pretty, pretty good to use together to get to uh, quickly uh, the work item that you're looking for. So let's cover uh, this section, uh, the status, planning, classification, efforts. These are the columns that are common in almost all the work items when you create. But based on uh, um, work item type, the, the, the uh, rows might change right here that what value they accept. So in, uh, in the work item type task, we have assigned to. Uh, for example, you have you can assign this to a specific DBA or you can assign to uh, the specific DBA team, but that team needs to have a permission on your um, team foundation server. If they don't have the uh, permission on team foundation server um, or on that project, then it might not appear. It'll it gets pulled out from your um, Active Directory when you give permission on your uh, Team Foundation server, but also once that's there, then it gets collected in your Team Foundation server security repository, and that's where it gets pulled out when you create a new work item. Every time you create a new work item, the state is always proposed, reason is always new, but if um, there's a suppose that you have created this work item and there are some work is done, and now the state is changed, maybe from proposed. Uh, it is um, completed, uh, maybe it's in progress. Uh, there, the state will change as soon as there is some work done and this um, work item is saved. The reason you can also, um, you know, this, this will change once the some work is done on this work item. Uh, priority in TFS, uh, the higher number shows the lowest priority. So if you wanted to uh, increase the priority of this item since creating the database might be the first thing that you need to do in your uh, um, in your project to, uh, to, to start the project and uh, the development, then you might need to click on one. That means that, uh, you know, it's a time centric. Uh, it'll be um, when, when a person receives SQL Server team receives that this is the highest priority, they will go ahead and create the database right away or uh, the SQL Server manager will assign their resource right away to create this database because all the other um, development really depended on this uh, particular work item. Once, uh, once that uh, tries, this is for mo uh, most of uh, most of the cases. Tries just just for the review for your uh, manager or upper management or even the team lead. So pending means that uh, that person has not looked; uh, is still waiting for the review. But if you click on that, um, if you have sent more info and they they click on info received, however they have not uh, ch they haven't gotten the chance to really review it. If they have reviewed it and more information needed, they will click on more information and uh, um, update um, your work item. And then based on uh, their selection, a different email uh, will, will start. Uh, maybe the, the database folks will get an email that, uh, okay, um, you know, can I get more information? For example, if it is assigned to a database and they have put new database name and didn't provide the size, the, the person that is assigned to, they, they can go and click on more info uh, and put that in description that I need more information so that I can put initial size of the database. I'm just making this up that uh, whatever the case may be. But uh, pending, uh, if tries, it tries means that uh, you're, you're, it's been reviewed and it's been um, approved. So depending on that, uh, you can s select the tries selection. Blocked, uh, there are many reasons that this uh, work item can be blocked. Maybe risk is too high. Um, maybe uh, there is no space in the existing SQL Server. There are separate SQL Server needs to be um, installed and uh, created. There are different reasons that this can be blocked and if it is blocked then the person uh, you know who is reviewing that can block it whatever the case may be. So classification um, this if you are working on multiple team projects they will all appear right here and you can select that this work item is related to this particular project team project. It, 
iteration for the new work item it's always zero but uh, if this work item was submitted already and there was some work done and um, uh, still some some uh, modification needs to be made and it's not completed you can choose different iteration that okay this is a uh, iteration one and uh, uh, if if iteration changed you need to um, you know select either it is planned or it's a corrective action maybe uh, the database name was not right or the permission was not set so uh, whatever the case again uh, you based on that you can put the task type that is a corrective action um, and the person that it is this work item is assigned to will know it right away so I'm gonna leave it to plan discipline is it analysis development test user education or user experience so in this case since it's a creating a database so you can uh, click on development there's a new development going on and that development uh, requires a new database on your SQL server so I'm gonna select that uh, this is efforts this may impact your uh, timeline of your project so you want to make sure that original estimate and remaining item work item you uh, keep track of that sometimes it's very handy these things will automatically populate it if you have integration between uh, EPM enterprise project manager um, and your TFS so um, if you update this work item it might update your project and uh, your timeline that okay 10% uh, is completed 20% is completed or, uh, or based on your remaining work hours that uh, okay this work item is completed or not description you need to put the description of your work item implementation if you click on it, implementation and um, you can create a uh, show a link if you have implementation documentation for example uh, sitting somewhere on the SharePoint site or uh, a shared site you, you can provide the link and that person can click on that and know that how to implement uh, this also you can right now we have three columns right here but if you wanted to increase more column you can click on column option right here and uh, if you wanted to add any column you select that column click on this arrow it'll go in here if you want to remove that column you can click on state or whatever uh, the column that you want to remove and click on this um, arrow right here and then you can sort these columns how they appear in your work item it's totally uh, you know it totally depends on you so um, history if there are history it'll show right here uh, attachment for example that um, you know there is a documentation that uh, has more information about creating new database you can uh, directly upload and it'll be uploaded on your uh, team project in TFS uh, and if you are if you have uploaded that project on your um, you have a project portal on on SharePoint and you uploaded your um, uh, requirement or whatever the documents you uh, uploaded on um, SharePoint you can provide that link right here this will be much easier for a person that you have assigned to they can click on that and they can look at all the attachment so basically um, these are really the same uh, let's take a look on the on some other um, requirement type uh, this was task and I am not requirement type I'm sorry work item so um, let's click on change request work item remember we we just uh, did the task right here and I'm gonna save that in order to save it in team foundation server you need to click save all and it'll be saved and what I'll do is create let's take a look on change change request work item as you can see the 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 appearance is 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 different uh, not much different as far as assigned to state reason priority uh, and, and all that but look at right here justification analysis and requirements these three things are added well requirements was always there but uh, analysis and justification based on the type of uh, uh, work item uh, these columns may change um, and uh, you have to provide justification for the change request uh, for that particular work item that why this change request is uh, put in um, analysis if there there are analysis around it impact on architecture what is the impact on user experience what is the risk um, on this if you go down all the way there are so many things since this is a more of a uh, upper management review uh, there are a lot of fields that you need to fill uh, in order to you know provide your analysis 
justification uh, if you take a look you have a you can provide the justification and 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 they will read it requirements you can uh, up uh, you can up uh, provide the link if you have somewhere uh, the uh, for example sharepoint or wherever uh, you know the requirements documents is or you can type it right here um, let me see if i if i click on uh, link to uh, is effects link detail work item id uh, you can you can upload this using just the the link if it is um, on a central repository um, and uh, the folks will be able to take a look on that new change request or um, you know that this is just the workflow basically for the for the requirement but you can also uh, leave the requirement alone and click on attachment and uh, attach the the requirement documents there are multiple options that how you can fulfill these work items and this is more of a uh, like a keep track of your work items also as much as information you can provide uh, to your um, you know the assigned to person or for your upper management to take a look and uh, approve that so this is basically it this is how you uh, create work item uh, using visual studio again uh, as i said that uh, there are other ways to create uh, work item that is web access uh, not much different from this uh, but uh, a little bit uh, the page look is different um, but also there are certain feature that's available using visual studio client uh, to create work items um, than web access i hope this video helps